Uh, <laughs> shut your mouth. NTK <laughs> looking to open things up here. He gets a what? Fully blind. Somehow he manages to line it up against Ching here, and that's a great entry, losing absolutely nobody. Dorf finding a double. Johan's up there for a trade, and Georgie's the last man standing here for his squad in a 1v3. Not gonna happen as NTK finds a triple on the pistol, and like you said, in any case now, NTK's just gonna be the spear to pierce through the rest of the A site, but it seems like GXR is putting so much damage in Crazy Guy, as well as NTK. They've taken some substantial amount of hits, and they're all but corralled on the A site. This could still work, and that um, Nate from Emma could be huge. Ooh! Indeed, the paint shell oh. lands onto two. He's got another one. He's got another paint shell here. It's not going to do that much more. They still have two to find, and they're only able to get none as Red Neville. How do you say it's the key to the city against the Spectre, where they only had the classics? But speaking of keys to the city, B side has been opened up. M but the problem with that is, once again, M they can still have that firepower. The sleeves at the back of the site, Johan, to play by his lonesome. Actually, never mind. Georgie is here to help him out. One HP. Down to one HP. But they've all but done the damage. That turret really helping out Georgie. And I love how Georgie's not really afraid to fight, even though he is at that singular oh, HP marker. However, there is a chance that he could get flanked from the behind right now And he's gonna walk through that smoke He spots the head of Pina That's a big kill to see right there Now he's gonna be checked on from the back They're gonna let him get through here So his B-main completely exposed But Red Neville and NTK, they're doing work Carl, to help them secure it And allow NTK to creep up a little bit closer That's the missed shot right there from the One enemy remaining Oh, Showstopper doesn't connect, but it's going to be NTK and Crazy Guy to get a double. Now, all up to Johan. He has information on both. He's going to try to swing onto one, and he's going to have to land some crazy shots if he wants to get Crazy Guy. Is NTK looking to go for the full flank right here? Has to make haste. Racer, but a lot being taken in exchange here. The members right now from Big Bam will be creeping up here towards B main. The smoke will come out, and that's going to be a... It's going to be the turret to give away the information where he is, but the one-two punch, it's going to come in. Carl and Shin get one apiece here, but it's still traded out two for two. They have to deal with the Heaven player. They get onto site. Emon is able to survive a little bit longer. They're going to be sprayed through the box. They know where his position is, and with that low HP, he's not getting out here. So still one-to-one -one trades all across the board, but that is a lockdown going to be deployed. Oh, no. oh, he gets denied here. But it's still a one versus one. He's going to be having to go get it soon. So he's going to be in a tough spot. The timing, he wins the duel anyway. They're grouping up towards A. They're going to be seeing a little bit of a crossfire. Georgie walks oh no. right into it. Johan's only good for a trade. And that's going to be a very, very big problem for Galaxy Racer. As the timing just doesn't oh no. go. Oh my god. King gets denied. And he gets shut down right there with a beautiful execute onto the side here by BAM. They're going to be ahead by two members. This might be ha this might be a save call already for Galaxy Racer. They can try to go for that save, but since it? they have the round loss bonus, maybe they'll try to go for the big fights. They are also wasting a lot of the ultimates of their opponents. So Carl as well as Emon got to step up big, but Carl's already been tagged down. Had to look at Rao Ching. He's going to... Let's get flashed on. Maybe they were counting the smokes here and now, but no, never mind. They don't need the smokes because the gravity well says or shows it all. Gives NTK a bit of, you know, a bit of a catch breath. So you can be able to just go straight into the site itself. That pain shells will keep Emon and the rest alive. Oh, push back. And Carl is just here. Emon is going out of his mind. But Philosophical dilemma. Not very much Sophie's choice, but <laughs> definitely whether they can hold on to it or not is... They are suffering a bit of an existential crisis right now. Left. Regardless of whether he's dazed and confused, they'll find a Eureka moment, finding that kill onto Red Neville. But crazy guy's good for two here. Georgie, nice one shot. Oh, no. Up on there, will only enemy. be one able to find one, Spike leaving us with Johan. No and a one on one here. He does have He does have the lockdown. He's trying to spray through it, so information gathered for Johan. But look at that shot, NTK! The region. If you're from the Philippines, they're kind of like Bren in that regard. Johan not really having a fun time at all. And NTK knew exactly what needed to be done. Carl is going to be out in the open and the flash put him in his false sense of security. And this is just putting GXR into a... Well, into a route to throw up into the air and see what happens. Emon, though, rips out the showstopper out of nowhere. Emon's trapped into the backside. Ching's looking to back him up. A good paranoia. And they land the shots with the sheriff here. One player coming up from heaven. That's Dorf. He's dropped down. They know he's nearby. 
He has the weapons here, but in this 1v2, he's King trying to back away around the corner, but Emma's good for four with the Sheriff. But this is looking like yeah. a decent half for Galaxy Racers. They definitely wanted more. 75 on the defense. Oh, what a whiff right there from Georgie. I'm sorry, it has to be said. Huge, but Ching caught in an island. NTK is trying to ping him down, but Emon is here to help. And he get the shots that he needs, though. Yes, he will. The reposition, but Ching is out there to get the refrag just in case. And Carl is blinding. Even through the days, he will find his mark and only crazy guy to remain. But we've seen how this man can convert the kills. Down to six HP or six bullets. Wink swings wide, but Emon still holds true. And that thing. There's the explosion. Emon throws out his utility already. Ned Neville does so in return as well. But the timing from Georgie is going to be good. No one expects him to be high on heavens. Repositions. There's going to be one one left as well in the back of the site. And there comes Dorf. Heaven wise, not going to be able to get any punish whatsoever. And NTK is left to the 4v1. The thing is, though, remember, GXR is heavily tagged. So Georgie makes no time. The nade will push him out. It's going to be the utilities, but this is the double duelist charging right in, but oh. Thor, my god! If not only for Carl who sprayed through the follow-up on that smoke, that would have been disastrous, as they've lost about their control on the side itself. Jinx going to be holding an angle here, this fault line keeping him honest, and they have to back away. Carl's going to be planting spike down, but he is the one holding the phantom. This is going to be huge as both of them come out. Carl, the trades abound, and TK has to reload, but Carl just cannot find the kills. And he's being pushed back here, Elu, 3 versus 1. No way he does And he's this. down to 7 bullets. This is going to be so one. difficult, they lined up. Oh, wait. Back, Carl, start aftershock, get victims. The dash from Georgie expended. Chang is gonna be wide swinging. He needs to go big, which he does. Dwarf whipping. This is huge. And he's gonna push the envelope here. He's gonna go who is sitting up at this close angle. Will not win oh. that duel. Georgie. I mean, excuse me, Johan. Ready for it. And they're gonna make their way into that B site. They do have to deal with Red Neville, who's gonna wanna play close, who's wanna who's gonna wanna get in their faces. With this judge here, but can they actually do it? I expect a pay. I, ex I expect a play any second now, but no, Carl. Push from JXR could be something else. Just pistols in the hands of Bam here. Not and not really even upgraded ones. They've only got a couple of upgraded ones. But look at the swing right there. Perfect timing on the multi peak towards mid. The refrag and flash. Both like oh, he's dead to rights. Carl is no way he's surviving this one. Red Neville, beautiful double kill. It's all up to Johan. Has the weaponry. Spams through the blast. Yeah! He finds Red Neville. Has to make so much noise. And Johan, it's all up to him to just catch him in the Galaxy Racer this time. They're happy to give up. They're happy to take more of this mid control right now. But Bam, it's NTK. He's going to land a shot onto Johan right there. That's the Sentinel gone. That's the lockdown gone. And the lurk. <gasps> Completely punished. Red Neville in a good spot right here. He's backed up by Crazy Guy. That's going to be a flash to slow down the pace of this attack. Red Neville's trapped in this corner. And look at that. Dive straight into his waiting arms. That's going to be the kill onto Carl. This should be the round here for Bam. What a control on B Heaven. A bit of communication. Again, this raise just holding his own. Red Neville is just holding his own for the moment. Wait, hold that thought. Emma is... 9-9! Nine, nine. I've got your trail! Scoreline. NTK with a good oh. shot right there. But this isn't Brooklyn. It is the house of NTK as he gets a double. He's able to shoot away the Seekers run. for now. And Shing is going to get a refrag for the meantime. But it's the members and the bodies falling all across the floor. <laughs> NTK with three. All right. That's a clutch shot right there. Shing, he's good for a... He's good for a refrag. But look at the HP. They have a cumulative total of... 11. Yes, I did the math. 11 is left by his loans, and the barrel has been expended already. There's going to be the quick enough defuse, and it's being defused at the back of the site. They flashed in, but throws don't fake. And once again, around by Big Bam. Whoa. There is so much uh, that is going to stop them. And first and foremost, that's going to be NTK. Backs off, though. And here comes the explosion. Georgie's hasn't even seen anyone, and he's at 6 HP here, so... A lot of damage done. That's a good showstopper from Red Neville. No punishes. Finally, they do, but with 14 seconds left on the clock, they're going to have to recover the spike, and it's in the middle of a little bit of a tough spot. Just been completely red by Bam here. Georgie looking for an entry, but Red Neville just denies him. The flash comes out, but the backup is good here, and Pina swings wide. He actually gets caught. Moment, and Galaxy Racer have no answer. 
this is so difficult for Galaxy Racer. First and foremost, there was a bit of a jack-in-the-box style there. If we can get a quick replay, if ever. Comfortable or confident enough to push through aggressive. Speaking of comfortable enough, NTK has just been hitting these shots. The dry peaks from Jakes are punished time and time again. And, well, they don't have... Oh, I was going to say, they don't have that Sage ah. to revive. They playing here close. NTK, NTK not going to be flashed off. He's going to miss the shot here. Brought to 26 HP. And he knows to look like Johan right there. Great shot from him, but Johan you finds the double run. anyway. Dorf, he's gonna get one, he's gonna get two, he's gonna get three, and Dorf! They played on the default box as soon as they were being thrown fly- okay, well, thank you. I never needed to know that in my life, but now I do. I could have went my whole life without knowing that. Fuck! Alright! What a couple of shots here to start things off here, bam! Feeling hot, they're hitting the shots. And so will Red Neville, not a single dual victory for Galaxy Racer. The only saving grace they have is Carl with two, but he's melting away. And he got ahead of Boom. And it's going to knock them down. Bam's gonna be at the top, followed by Boom. X10's going to be third. That means they don't qualify. It's very possible here. Amon has to hold aggressive here. We talked about the math, but it's all about the science of taking the sights and Amon! Speaks hard and says, Professor, left. I can claim three. Which he does. He's looking for a fourth, but Jordan. Left. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. People might time, think of time. us differently. But, anyways, what we think differently is after a technical timeout, a swift strike on the A site. Emma, once again, will be anchoring for the moment. That wall will hold him a little bit back of it. And he's got to be careful because Dwarf, once again, right on top. Oh. He's going to swing wide, gets a kill. This is deny the spike being planted down. Shock but the trades will be plenty. Let's go. A couple of shot dart kills from both teams right there. Emman has got himself in a pretty decent position. The lineups now coming for Pina. Can he get... He has, he's another one. He's another lineup. And that's a, that's another lineup too. So they're just... They're throwing out everything. Oh, he's sick. Oh! The debuff! Oh. Oh, that's so unfortunate. He's got to run. He had HP, but I think it's all going to be about the post plants, and they still do have some weaponry to go up against this. That snake bite will be far too late for anything, and Dorf is just going for the trades, although these blades from Georgie might say something, but he was already actually traded himself. We do have a 4v4, and here we go. Retake for Galaxy Racer. He spots him out. Knows where he is, but... Ooh, NTK with a crispy shot! He finds two! Or he finally goes down, Carl, only with a Spectre. Not gonna happen for him. Traded hard. So Jakes are now, they're left with a conundrum where they have to at least find kills before that happens. Emon's gonna be there for the trade. Red Neville does not have his revive. Ching, playing in the close corner, wants to get a kill first, then he can wall, then he can revive. If ever, Georgie gotta step up big with the Operator, finds a mark, and this finally dwindles the numbers of Big Bam slightly. An advantage. But this will leave Ching in an island first. Oh he no. Gets caught the zip line and Red Neville with the trade. What is happening? Ching gets completely caught unaware there. And the massive double kill turns the round on its head. I don't know why Ching uh, must have been looking at the mini map or on hyper focused on the sides to not notice that there was a sage right above him zip lining. But NTK here. What? Huh? Georgie was left on and off, but he doesn't really need a rifle to get the damage. 30 HP, swings wide, spots another! The quick scope, Johan. Oh my god, bros, don't think Georgie, does he have time? Does it even, was it actually even halved? Yes, it is. That recon dart is gonna be huge, but it gets covered, but still the charge out from crazy guys. GXR is gonna get heavily punished just on this transition. Oh. Oh, no, no. Oh, and this leaves Johan by himself. He has his ultimate to at least help him out a little bit, but this is like five members about to crash into his position if he's not careful. Ching, though, let's get the revive onto Georgie, which is good, but Johan. Oh, the timing. Oh, but they, nobody pushes him. <gasps> the they timing. They past each other. That's gonna be huge here. But still, the frags. It's going into Galaxy Racer's way. Johan will finally find Crazy Guy. And it's going to be a 4v2 here. They have the Viper's Pit to work with. He's not going to get a chance to use it. As they decide the better of it. Red Neville. Good shot right there to land. And they got saved a little bit. That was, again, this team not really wanting to just push through the Viper.
all they need in this half to make it a decent halftime score. Georgie, what a way to start it off. The target for her, Big Bam. The recon now comes up and gives a tiny bit of information. Not gonna really pulse onto anybody here though, but Ching, ah, uh, that's a big shot to be missed. Oh, no. That's an even bigger pain shell to miss as well. It's gonna allow them for a free plant right now. Show stopper to make up for it. He doesn't get it out. But Carly the Hunter's Fury has managed to find Red Neville here. Nice shot right there from Crazy Guy, but it's traded out by Ching. The double swing. And it's all up to Pina. He's got one. Now he's gonna find two more. Is this Pina's moment time in the sun? It's now his time to shine. Can Pina find three? Can he shut down the hopes and dreams of Galaxy Racer once more? As he's caught, he's found looking the wrong way here, but they're throwing each other snake fight. But which Cobra stands? It's Pina! They're looking good here, Elo. Eight to two. I just have to say, I think it's... I think it's Galaxy Racer looking tilted. Good two picks here from Georgie, but... They're missing basic utility throws and... Uh, basic shots that they should hit any day. And this is a sign that the team is not... I think it's gotten in their heads. They need to call a pause, they need to think, they need to reset, because... Bam! That should have... That 1v3 should have never happened. They, they could have just triple peaked and stayed together, but instead they were isolated and they lost another round that they should have won at the end of it spike will be planted here and it will be denied nice play right there from Shank to deny the plant and as well as the viper's pit 3v2 the hp still low as they recover but crazy guys bringing it back to 2v2 and it's Eminem and Shank. Shank only has a sheriff in his hand but he's found one so far and they're gonna need to find two more crazy left. guy working around this corner here is hoping to get lucky there's two players to the back side they're playing close to each other timing remaining. for a crazy guy it's good he spots one crazy guy doubles up and there is the ultimate already expended they will have to lose crazy guy in the process as georgie finds him with the sheriff pina as soon as he just cucks out the gun was cuffed himself and this is not looking too hot anymore johan and carlton remain they don't really have the weapons georgie well, he doesn't have to kill for now. And Carl is holding a smooth enough angle with the Ares. Has to back away as... Oh, 410. Recharging in. One at the back of the side. This Carl recon dart spots one. Although unfortunate, Georgie, as he jumps up, he was spotted unawares in Crazy Guy. Oh, no. Oh, that's going to flush out Carl for just a moment. But at least they can go for that plant now. But this has given time for the rest of Big Bang to come in. Now, Galaxy Eraser, they got four people. To Johan's on to 21. Who will this be the round here? Galaxy Racer, can they come back? It's Evan with two, but Dorf with another. And they're all dropping like flies, leaving Shank. Every team coming into the playoffs, and that's X10. That is huge for everybody right now. Big Bam comes big, everybody gets big as well. The group of death proving to be very, very deadly indeed. Is looking at Bam, and two teams to go. Two teams will fall, two teams will ascend. And at the moment, it's looking like Big Bam. They're gonna come out of this, the victor. The is, can they actually do that? Can they push forward? Red Neville gets spotted out. This is first and foremost a good pick. He gets into a bit too aggressive. Georgie wants to get that map control. Spots out the legs. Cannot take it away. But there is still going to be some movement there for NTK. The rest of Bam is going in. This wall oh, stops no. for the moment. And Dorf gets separate from the rest. And we're three versus three. This is possible now for GXR. They still can't do it. It's 3v3. Johan, he goes down to 21. Emmons out of the picture here. Carl's barely breathing. Johan still finds one. And a 2v2 right now. They've managed to find it, but Carl has brought it back. 1v2. And Carl gets double picked, and that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Galaxy Racer go out. Bam, go ahead. And they take none other than Boom Esports with them. Ten rounds away. It has to be the comeback of a lifetime for Galaxy.